Alrighty, so it's time for a construction update and speculation video kind of merged together, I guess. Let's see how it goes. Um, so just to get it started off, we obviously know track arrived yesterday. Um, we thought a little more than one piece arrived, but it was definitely only one piece that arrived. I looked everywhere, Splashworks, storage area, Kingswood, mountain storage area, blah, 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 etc. Employee area, like uh, from where you can publicly stand, nothing there. Um, so it definitely didn't arrive. It's just one piece. They're probably going to be arriving for the next couple of weeks. I, I definitely assume more track is arriving even right now as I'm filming and recording this. So um, I'm going back to the park right after this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hang out with a couple of people. Um, nothing unique written on these track pieces. So don't worry. There's nothing to see there. Um, even the sticker, nothing important to see on that. Um, it literally just says X works, blah, blah, blah. So don't bother like trying to, you know, break park rules or get in there or get close, like really close to it. It literally says nothing on it. I'm promising you that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see different styles of track pieces arrive. Like I really want to see that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But, um, in terms of the construction site, um, lots going on here. So you have the foundation going around the pre-lift. So a massive foundation is being poured. Foundation's being poured behind it. Well, not being poured, but being ready, getting ready to pour. I'm assuming maybe they'll even pour today. It looks ready. Um, and we know the pre-lift is eight by six bolts. Same to Val Raven. The only difference is ours are not indented inwards like Val Ravens. They're slightly wider. That's what made it hard to count the bolts because it looked like it was eight by eight. But if you look closely, it's eight by six like about Raven. It's just missing that slight indent um, of the bolts going vertically up. Um, so yeah, super exciting. Not too much has been done um, because again, vertical construction is going to start probably sometime soon. Um, there, there's, there's a reason track is arriving early. It's not just going to sit there for the next couple of months taking up the parking lot. Um, they're definitely going to get installed a brake run station and transfer track. Definitely. And while these dry, the lift hill pieces in the turn of the station dry and then those pieces will probably arrive and they'll install those so i'm actually predicting that the lift hill brake run storage and station will be done by the end of october um the latest like absolute latest i'm actually expecting that the brake run and uh station uh pieces will be installed probably by the end of july the latest um but lift hill will probably be installed by the end of september end of october at absolute latest this piece is interesting. T301SD with our coaster code on it, 54, or sorry, F9431, which is display 13, sorry, which is displayed on all the track pieces. So that's probably our coaster code. Uh, the T301 is probably track 301 SD, sit down. That's what I'm assuming. And this leads us to our next speculation. Um, so when we originally measured our lift hill, it came at 90.64 meters, which brings it way over the necessary gigapoint with the tunnel. Way over it. Um, that would be almost insane. That would be Fury 325 level almost, and that's not going to happen on a dive coaster. Um, or at least I think it's not going to happen on a dive coaster. So then we realized, okay, we actually started the measurement at the lift start. That's not where we want to measure from. We want to measure from the actual part where it increases. So that is going to be lift one. So we changed that and it brought us down to 84 point like 90 something. So 85 meters at a 45.8 um, meter increase in elevation on the lift hill, um, which brought us to 278, pretty much 279 meters, which is exactly what we need with the tunnel to really bring us to that 301 um, foot drop with the tunnel depth. And um, that also accounts for the slight um, decrease in height for the, uh, the turn at the top of the lift hill. So this all adds up perfectly. So we're hoping that our math is correct. And we know that it's within the 80 to 90 meter range. There's, it's not below 80 meters. We've tried everything to see if it would be low 80 meters. So the lowest possible height of this coaster is going to be 262 feet, excluding the tunnel. All these measurements there are excluding the tunnel. Um, so that's that's insane, um, absolutely insane. Um, 
And I, I'm not trying to purposely leak information. Again, this is a speculation video. You all know I do not know the height for sure. It was not on any documents that I saw. I can guarantee that I'm not lying, I promise you. I wouldn't be making this video for no point if I already knew the height. So um, definitely wanna hear from you. Comment down below, 80 meters, 85 meters, or 90 meters? 262 feet, 278 feet, or 295 feet? What do you think it's gonna be? That's excluding the tunnel. Now again, our CAD drawings or CAD estimates brought the tunnel depth to about 24 feet. So 278 feet and 295 feet will bring this to uh, pretty much giga territory. Um, Cause again, these are all excluding that slight five to 10 feet above ground that the lift hill starts to. So you have to add that in. So there's a lot uh, going on here and it's all completely uh, extremely epic. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a little prediction layout we're gonna launch um, as well right after this video. Um, so hopefully you enjoy that as well. We fixed some of the details and fixed some of the uh, minor mistakes we made. Um, and I, I think you're gonna really like it. Um, we know we're definitely looking at something unique. Um, it's absolutely insane. Again, we changed some information on the, the stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am super exhausted because I got hardly any sleep last night due to the track arriving. Um, and uh, I got hardly, I'm like super like anxious today because we found what definitely looks like it symbolizes the uh, drop on this coaster, so 301. Um, and that's what we're probably gonna predict because that's what most of our math has been bringing us to this entire time is this giga territory, which is insane. Are we gonna be the first park with two giga coasters or two giga drops? Like exciting. I'm so excited to see what this is on announcement day. I'm so excited to, for the teasing campaign to start. Um, I hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below what you guys think the height's gonna be. Um, and uh, what do you think that uh, little height teaser or height thing on that plate is? Um, I wanna hear from you guys. Have a good one guys. Thanks for watching, bye.